Welcome to the Effortless English Show with the world's number one English teacher, A.J. Hogue, where A.J.'s more than 40 million students worldwide finally learn English once and for all without the boring textbooks, classrooms, and grammar drills. Here's A.J. with a quick piece to help you learn to speak fluent English effortlessly. Hi, I'm A.J. Hogue, the author of Effortless English, Learn to Speak English Like a Native, and welcome to the Effortless English Show. A common question, a common complaint I get from students, from Effortless English members. They want to know, AJ, how can I improve my motivation? I'm bored studying English. I get tired. I'm not motivated. I can't make myself study and learn every day. What can I do, AJ? Help me, help me. This is one of the most common questions I get. How can I improve my motivation? Because, of course, you need that motivation every day. If you don't study, no method will work. Even the best method, even effortless English, if you're lazy and you do nothing every day, you will not improve. So, how can you do it? What's the secret? Good question. Because you want the opposite, right? You want high motivation. You want to feel energized about English. Each day you want to, to wake up and you, oh, today I'm going to focus on English. Today I'm going to listen to English two hours, three hours or more. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to be excited about it every day. That energy, that motivation is really the key to success. In fact, the truth is, if your motivation is very, very high, you can succeed with almost any method. Even a bad method can work if your motivation is super high. Now, a bad method will take more time. A bad method requires more motivation. It gets more difficult. It's less fun. But still, if you've got super high motivation, if you spend six, seven, eight hours a day, every day on English, then eventually, even a bad method will work. Of course, a great method works much faster and is easier. So if you use all that motivation with a great method like Effortless English, you're going to get very, very fast success. You're going to see huge improvements in a shorter time. You want that high level of motivation, but the question is always, how? If you don't feel motivation, if you don't feel that energy, how can you change that? This is the big problem, the big question. Now, sadly, people don't teach you this. In school, they never teach you this. In fact, they teach you the opposite. The school methods destroy motivation. They destroy energy. And this is why so many English learners are failing and failing and failing, why they are frustrated, why they have low motivation. Because even when they're learning at home, even outside school, they're trying to use methods from school. They're trying to repeat what they learned in school and they keep on failing. And then they, they can't figure out, they don't understand why, why is my motivation so low? Why is my energy so low? I'm going to give you one word, the one word secret to motivation. Body. Your body. This is the secret. It's your body. Right? We, we actually think, most people think it's their mind. They have to do some trick with their brain. Oh, if I could just make myself think in a different way, then I would have more motivation and more energy. But it's your body. This is one of the secrets of the Effortless English method. I talk about it a lot in my book, Effortless English. In my book, I teach several different methods of using your body to create energy and higher motivation. So, read my book, get my book, Effortless English, learn to speak English like a native. Get that book if you want all of the different methods. Right now, I'm just going to teach you a very general idea about this. Think about school. Think about school, just the physical. What are you doing with your body in school? 
Well, usually nothing. Right? You've got, you're in school all day, six hours or more. And what are you doing most of the time? You're sitting on your butt, not moving. Right? You sit down in a chair and you listen to somebody talk. You listen to the teacher talk. And, and think of it, you're not moving, your legs, you're not moving, you're sitting. You're just in the same position for, you know, 45 minutes or 50 minutes or one hour or even longer. And then maybe you get up when one class is finished. Maybe you walk for five minutes to the next class and then you sit down and then you don't move again. Well, as Jacqueline said, use it or lose it. it means use your body or lose your energy. See, we actually get more energy as we move, right? You can do this, right? If right now, if you're sitting and you don't move, just don't move at all. And just sit like this. No movement at all for one hour or two hours or three hours. Did your energy go up or down? Everybody knows. It goes down. Your energy drops and drops and drops the more you sit still. And see, energy and motivation, they're connected. They're connected. High motivation comes from high energy. It comes from feeling great. See, when you feel great, when you have high energy for something, when you're doing an activity, you enjoy the activity, and then you want to do it more. When you have low energy during an activity, then you don't feel good, and then you don't want to do it. Your motivation goes lower and lower and lower. And so you're sitting in English class every day. Uh, and you know what you do, right? You sit there. Uh, and then some days you're just tired, so you kind of you, know, you put your hand like this. And then sometimes you're really tired and bored, and you'll, you'll look down and you pretend like you're looking at your notes, but actually your eyes are closed and you're kind of taking like almost a nap. <sighs> right? You ever did that? I used to do that in class. I pretend like I'm listening, but actually my eyes are closed. <laughs> That's right? And just think of that it, so low energy. And because the energy is low, your motivation, your enjoyment drops, drops, drops. Think of the opposite. Let's say dancing. You got your, your favorite music and you're dancing around. Woo! Now that's fun, right? The movement, the physical movement, moving your body in that big, fun, energetic way feels good. Your energy goes up. Your enjoyment goes up. And therefore, you want to do that activity again. Most people who enjoy dancing, they like to dance. They want to dance. They don't have to force themselves. Oh, today I must force myself to dance tonight. Oh, I've got to do it. They don't need that kind of mental motivation. It's so enjoyable, they want to do it. It's easy. The motivation is automatic. So, how do we do this with English? We've got to learn in a different way. <coughs> School taught you a very bad way to learn, which is sitting, not moving. You've got to do the opposite. That's why in my events, my Effortless English events, in my courses, in my classes, you're moving your body. A few tips. Number one is just to go for a walk. That's the easiest thing. What? People think, oh, to study English, I must be inside. I must be in a room. No, you don't. You can go outside. Go outside. Well, we have phones. We have iPods. We've got MP3 players. We've got headphones. There's no reason to sit on your butt indoors. Go outside and go walking. Just walking. Gets your, gets your blood moving. Gets your energy up. Your enjoyment will go up. Your focus will go up. Your motivation will go up. You'll enjoy it more. And because of that, you'll want to do it more and more. You're, you'll find your motivation going up, up, up for English just by combining it, doing it with walking. Now, you can even go much bigger than that. You can get yourself dancing and moving and having fun while you are listening to English. When you're listening to my courses and when I ask questions in the audio, you can shout your answers or at least say them loudly, but using your body, you don't just say yes, no, I don't know, maybe, 
Right? There's no energy in that. You use your body. Yes, no, maybe, I don't know. See, just these big, exaggerated, huge, large movements create energy. That improves your motivation, especially if you do it every time, every day. When you're walking, don't just walk slowly with your shoulders down like this. Get that chest up, those shoulders back. I always say chest up, shoulders back in my Power English course. Chin up, not looking down. This is low energy. This is higher energy. Put a little smile on your face and when you walk, walk with a little speed, right? Put some energy into your walk, some physical energy. Move that body more. The more you move your body, the higher your energy goes, your motivation improves. So don't just walk like this. Walk like this, right? Get those arms moving, move those legs, walk quickly. You don't have to run, it's not necessary to run, but walk quickly with energy and with a good posture, everything up, up, up. It improves your energy again. Your body is the key to energy and motivation. Not making some mental trick to say, oh, I must want English more. No, use your body. Make it feel good physically, high energy, high enjoyment. Then you will want to do English every day. So from now, starting today, when you listen to English, when you use my podcast, my show, my videos or audios, my courses at EffortlessEnglishClub.com, use them while you are moving your body in big, fun, energetic ways. That will improve your motivation. And then it becomes easy and fun every single time. Go to EffortlessEnglishClub.com EffortlessEnglishClub.com and join one of my English speaking courses.